What a game for the Leafs on a Saturday night as holy smokes. They welcome in the Edmonton Oilers Scotiabank Arena tonight and they win 6-3. Did it get a little hairy near the end? Sure, because as a Leaf fan, you're always going to find the negativity in in games. But they win 6-3 over the Oilers tonight, win set their second consecutive contest. And without Mitch Marner, without Cali Yarncruck, and without Tyler Bertuzzi today, they beat the Oilers in regulation. The Oilers have been playing some really good hockey, but the Leafs, man, they outplayed them from start to basically finish. Yeah, in the third period, 18-6 in shots on goal. Having those power plays in the third period definitely helped the Oilers. But other than that, the Leafs played a damn good hockey game, and they and they beat them. And Bobby McMahon, who had a big night tonight. Mac, Mark Masters tweets out today the quote from Bobby after the game. We came out with an attitude that we know we're a better team, and we want to dictate the play from the start. And we did that, and proud of us for that. In English. Yeah, they have some skilled players and pushed back a little bit. But we took it to them enough that it didn't matter. Bobby McMahon, Leafs Nation, loves you. And Bradtree Living locked this guy up already for a very cheap contract. You love to see it. Let's break this thing down, shall we? First period, less than five minutes into the game. Good entry into the offensive zone. Timothy Lilligren pinches down to get the puck along the boards. Pokes it down low. John Tavares with a beautiful... Backhand feed into the slot to Bobby McMahon, who buries it past Stuart Skinner for his 12th goal of the year at 417 of the first period. But the Leafs in front one nothing. Great start to the contest. Late in the first period, Leafs in a power play. A point shot from Timothy Lilligren gets tipped in by Nylander's stick, then his foot, leg. And it's a 2 nothing Leafs advantage. 18-14 was the power play goal from Willie Nealand. The Leafs got a 2-0 lead after one period of play. Shots are 10-6 in favor of the Leafs in the early going. Really nice start to this game. We keep moving. In the second period, again, there were a couple Pontus Holmberg goals. So I'm trying to figure out which was which here. But I believe this one was Austin Matthews getting to the puck below the goal line in the offensive zone. It's kind of a lackadaisical play from the defense of the Edmonton Oilers. I, didn't, I can't remember who it was, but Austin Matthews just beat him to the puck. And he gives it to Max Domi in front of the net. And Domi just slides it over to Pontus Holmberg, who's got a wide open cage, and he buries it for his fifth of the year. 8.02 into the second period. Domi and Matthews, excuse me, have a system the goal and the Leafs are 3-0. You're feeling awesome at this point. Again, now I got to try and find these these other two goals because when they're scored by the same guy and they're multiple goals and you know I, I was at a bar as well so I'm trying to figure out which goal was which but let me try and find where's Omar on his Twitter shout out Omar just outstanding with these clips that he always finds a way to post these after the or during the games he's he's very quick to these things uh, where's that Bobby McMahon is that the one uh, oh, Holmberg scored two in a row didn't he yeah he did there it is. Uh, right, so this was right after the Oilers had a power play. I think Connor Timmons came out of the box, goes right to the point to find the man, strips him of the puck, gives it up to, let me try and find that here, strips it, gives it up to, who is that? That, yeah, Bobby McMahon. It's a three on one. Riley goes back to uh, Bobby McMahon, who gives a cross seam to Holmberg, and he buries it. So, yeah, it wasn't a shorthanded goal, but it was right as the penalty expired, and the Leafs now lead it. Oh, that was the 3 nothing. Yeah, fair. I was gonna say, he screwed up. 4 nothing. Leafs advantage. We keep moving. That goal was, by the way, at 11.04 of the second period. Uh, Holmberg from McMahon and Riley. And then they weren't done. Bobby McMahon. Willie Nylander stops up on the rush. Loses Ekholm. McDavid backs off. Finds McMahon. And he roofs this thing. High glove on Stuart Skinner. Because I think he was still in the net at this point. Gorgeous short side cheese for McMahon's second of the game. And the Leafs lead it now 5-0. They're feeling great. You go into the second intermission. 15-13 in shots for the Oilers in the period. Samsonov was good. And you go into the third. You're up 5-0. You're feeling good. Now, some early penalty trouble gets the Leafs cooked, right? As Connor McDavid does Connor McDavid things. And I hate... Oiler fans are going to start losing their mind when I say this. 
but he's their entire team. I know they're going to hate me saying it, but for the love of God, we saw what happened at the beginning of the season when Connor McDavid wasn't himself and how putrid that team was. Then Connor McDavid starts playing like God Connor McDavid as he is the best player in the National Hockey League. And he's sitting right now at 112 points before tonight's game. So yes, they have figured things out. And guess who had assists on every single goal the rest of the way? Connor McDavid. Who had the primary assist to Zach Hyman's 49th goal? Connor McDavid. Right? He's the guy that stirs the drink. And if they don't have him, boy, oh, when he's not playing at his absolute best, it is a tough watch. And the Leafs did a great job containing him through the first half of the game. And they beat the crap out of the Oilers. Now, Hyman scores the power play goal, goal number 49. Then Corey Perry scores a very similar goal to Zach Hyman at 8.32. And it's a it's a 5-2 game. And I would be on. I'm, look, I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be some stupid Leaf fan, but I'm gonna say that at 5-2, knowing the Leafs, there's still half a period to play. There is no way in hell I'm home and clear right now. Not a chance. And then Leon Dreisaitl scores, assisted by Connor McDavid, at 16-21 with about you know, under four minutes to play. But then they're going to have the goalie pull. And they're like, okay, this, you're only up by two. Let's get this thing figured out. And then Austin Matthews with 13 seconds left when the game was over at this point. But Barry's his empty netter for goal number 58 of the season. And I know I'm going to see people on social media saying, well, he's got an empty netter. Does it really count? You mean his... First empty netter of the season? <laughs> sure. He'll take it any way he can. 6-3, Leafs win it. Oilers have shot the Leafs 18-6 in the third period. Shots and goal 39-29. Oilers for the game. But Ilya Samsonov did leave the game. And a little shaky there. But Sheldon Keefe did say after the game. Let me see if I can pull up the quote here real quick for you guys. Um, no, that's not the one I wanted. Where's the Sheldon Keefe? Oh, did I already lose that? Hold on, let me try and figure it out. Because I know Sheldon Keefe did say something after the game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, like on, on the Ilya Samsonov front. Uh, on the Ilya Samsonov front, excuse me. Here we are. Uh, so this was it here. Uh, let me see, there's a quote from Sheldon. Yeah, here it is. However, uh, Maple Leafs head coach Sheldon Keefe said post game that it looks like he's going to be fine, according to Elliot Friedman. So from that standpoint, it's a great sign for him. And shout out to uh, Martin Jones, who had to come in, in in the worst of emergency situations. You know, you're getting hemmed in your own zone, six on five. It is an ugly stretch for him. But he made all the saves, all five stops that he had to make and get the Leafs to prevail for the victory. And let's get to these stats. Because the Leafs, I was talking about a get, get out shot, but they out hit the Edmonton Oilers. Special teams-wise, they were 2-for-5 on the PP. Uh, Leafs were 1-for-3. And Ilya Samson, before he left the game, was 3 goals on 34 shots. Again, a good night for him. And look at this. Bobby McMahon, Pontus Holmberg, both guys with multi-goal games. Pont uh, Bobby, McGann Bobby McMahon had an assist goal along with that. So he was a 2 goals, 1 assist, a plus 3 in the game. Pontus, 2 goals, a plus 3. Matthews, a goal and assist, plus 3. Nylander, goal and assist, plus 2. Lilligren and Tavares, both with assists, but Lilligren was a plus two, Tavares is a plus one. Riley with assists and a plus three. Domi with an assist and a plus one. Also got in a fight as well. You'll love to see it, and I'm just going to do a quick thing. Connor McDavid, where was he tonight? Even though, he, look, I'm not going to sit here and bash McDavid, because I'm, I'm just not going to. He's the best player in the National Hockey League. But three assists and a dash one? It's tough. I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't usually bash the other, bash the other team. But when it's so lopsided, when with one guy controlling everything on the other side, it's kind of painful to watch. But for the Toronto Maple Leafs, because everyone likes to talk about how Matthews is the entire team, well, not so much tonight, as four goals were combined from Holmberg and Bobby McMahon. Good stuff from the fellas tonight. Next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs, they play a second night of a back-to-back -back in Carolina tomorrow night as Joseph Wool will, will get the start. It is confirmed, 6 p.m. puck drop in Carolina against the Hurricanes. Going to be a tough one. Last time we saw Carolina, they, the Leafs blew that lead in the third period and lost uh, in the shootout. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow night in Raleigh.
All right, as the Leafs to look, look to win their third consecutive game. All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the win tonight, because if you didn't, you're not a Leaf fan. If you did, oh, smack that like button anyway. Hit the subscribe button if you guys are not already. Comment down below. Thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game? The Toronto Maple Leafs, Twitter, Discord, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff is down below. So follow up there if you're not done so already, and I will talk to you guys Raptors edition Monday. As they host the uh, Brooklyn Nets at 7.30, we'll talk to you guys regardless then. Jays edition Tuesday as they are, uh, well, no, not that they're in anywhere, right? Well, they'll be, they'll be in, you know, they'll be, they'll be in Florida because they're getting ready for Tampa. But on Tuesday, I'll talk to you guys wrapping up the spring training games, the final ones. Tomorrow and Monday, the last two games, we'll talk about all that stuff on Tuesday. And as for the Leafs, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night. Leafs, Hurricanes in Carolina, 6 p.m. puck drop there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the dub tonight. Talk to you guys then.